Hey, good morning, Marion. This is uh, City Commissioner John Stecklin. I'm here with Chief of Staff Cody Moak and his lovely assistant, Abby. Hi. Say hi. And guess where we're at? We are in the uh, skate house, so the skate rental place, up on Tower Square. As you can see, plenty, plenty of skates uh, for tonight's opening session, which starts at 5 o'clock tonight on the new ice at Tower Square. So I'm going to flip this around real quick and uh, kind of show you a little bit. We're, like I said, we're in the ticket ticket window right here. This is where you will come tonight if you walk up when you check in. And uh, this is where you'll get your skates and all that good stuff. But I wanted uh, Cody here to kind of give you a quick tour of this building because it does serve a big purpose. Right, Cody? Absolutely. So uh, obviously the, the skates are, are the big uh, point of this. It, it would be hard to uh, move all these up. Um, this time of year every year. Lots of skates. Uh, so we decided that when we were to build this building that we would make it big enough to house the 225 uh, pairs of skates that we have. So, and how, what's uh, the sizes of these so things? They range from uh, adjustable size down to a, a one for, for the little ones all the way up to a size 15 um, uh, for... Uh, <laughs> if you wear this size skate, I will get out of your way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> plenty of skates. Uh, again, we're only... Uh, it's a trial that we're allowing 50 people on the ice, and so um, we'll see how that goes. We can always dial it up. Dial where, it where did that number come from? So, uh, actually, the, the company that we uh, got the rink from uh, told us that it would fit 100. And we're like, well, let's start with half of that, see how we do. Um, demand so far on the bookings has been uh, fairly good, fairly consistent. And so um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's, it's a trial and error. Uh, this is the first time we've operated a skate, uh, ice skating rink, so uh, we'll just figure it out as we go along. Just have some patience with us as, as we navigate that. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's see. Let's see where the all the the controllers and stuff are going to be in this place. So yeah. right over here, right? Yeah. So uh, the fountain equipment hasn't been installed yet, but all these uh, gray conduits that you see here uh, will, in the spring, be filled with uh, electrical. Uh, wires and, and there'll be some control boxes and stuff on this wall and, and all that will control uh, the, the, the two fountains on the east and west side of the square and then the uh, water wall on the north, north side of the square. Cool, cool. Okay, let's go back into the back and tell me tell me what all this stuff is back here. Let me yeah, get back so in the back. The, uh, this, this big apparatus here is just a traditional sand filter. That's what will keep the water in the fountains clean. Uh, and that's all the like plumbing for that. Your giant swimming pool yeah, right there. That's essentially what it is. And then this is really the main reason for the building. So a lot of people have asked, you know, why, why build that building up on the square? So this is the uh, essentially the water level regulator in the fountains. Uh, without it, um, we would either have too much water or not enough water consistently in the fountains, which would just burn up the, the fountain quite, fairly quickly. So right. this had to be built. How it is? Uh, it's gravity fed. It gravity feeds the, uh, the fountains, and so um, we knew that if we were going to do these fountains, we at least had to build this above ground. So when we talk about this building being up here, it, it was a matter of uh, necessity if, if we wanted these fountains. Um, and so when we talked about the size of the building, it was what else could we fit in here that would be smart for us to build. So right. that's why the skates are housed here. Uh, some other equipment's housed here as well. Uh, it, it will make it easier on our departments not to have to move stuff back. And Plus, I'd have to imagine to try and get all of this stuff that yeah. you see in here below ground yeah. would have probably cost three to five times as much as putting it above I ground. I would say that's a fair estimate. Yeah. Right. So, good good spend of the dollars. Yep. All right. Perfect. So, uh, you've heard of the Zamboni machines at, uh, from the St. Louis Blues folks. Well, these are our Zamboni machines. They are <laughs> they are manual Zambonis. Absolutely. And uh, so you'll see uh, some folks out there. Smoothing that ice off, you know, and keeping it all perfect and pristine for all the skaters. So perfect. So if one thing I need to remind everybody, if you've booked a skate uh, session, um, you've got an email that says uh, it's your confirmation. It's got a little QR code on it. Uh, bring your phone with you so we can scan that and get you checked in. But it's essential that you get your waiver filled out before you get here. Uh, we need to have all those in the system ready to go. It'll make the process much smoother. It'll get you on the ice quicker. So Perfect. Uh, that's, the, that's the best reminder. I Scanner can right there. Yeah. Key. Did we forget anything? Are we good? Well, oh, thumbs up? We, yeah, we, we need to go look at something else. Oh, yes. Let's go. All right. Hey, while we're here, Cody, yes. 
new Santa house this year. Building trades. Yeah, building trades. Thank you so much, building trades. This is awesome. Uh, brand new Santa house. Kids are going to love this. Uh, kids will enter right here, right? Yep, right there. So kids in the front door. Mom and Dad, you won't be far away. You're right in here on the side. So you'll be able to watch your kids right there, and they can see you. So perfect for that. There's the soon-to-be fountains next spring. Once you get right up on them, folks, this is much bigger than what they look like when you drive around the uh, circle. So it's a good thing. It's going to have uh, LED lighting in it, and it's going to do all kinds of stuff. It's going to be great. Seating all the way around, so plenty of seating up here on the square. We'll talk about all the ice skating stuff here in a second. Somebody asked me the other day what happened to all of the, uh, the memorials that were on the square. All of them are still here. We've just put them, I think, in a more prominent place. Of course, this is going to have some uh, landscaping later, but uh, what a great job they did putting these right up here on the square. Whoa, what do you have, Mr. Moak? So, uh, <laughs> we have several of these first come, first serve basis. We're not charging for them. They're little assistants. Little ones can ride on it uh, or push it. Uh, it goes great on the ice and will help you learn what you're doing out there. So, Perfect. So, uh, guys, get here early if you want to get one of those because I think we only have eight, but more to come. All right, so if you got little ones that aren't really quite ready to skate but can hang on, and uh, mom and dad, if you need some help kind of steadying yourself, this is a, a cute way of doing it without admitting that you don't know how to skate, right? That's so true. you're hey, just pushing no, the kids around. No shame in that. No shame in that. There you go. So there you go. This is, of course, where the, you'll, the next group, the first, while one group's skating, this is where the next group will be getting ready to go on the ice, yep. and where the next group, when they'll change off, uh, they'll be coming off here. Uh, we've got these great rubberized things here, so you can walk right off the ice, take your skates off, change your shoes off, that kind of stuff, and uh, have a great time. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not up with the tower, but we got Grandma running over by the reindeer going, so perfect, perfect. Um, but anyway, back on these uh, on these plaques, uh, they've all been reset, and uh, you know, if, unless you came onto the circle in years past, you would never probably have known that these were all up here. Uh, but these are all of our veterans and stuff from all across the county. So if you get a chance, come on up here and uh, and see what's all up. Uh, so now we're going to go into the side of the pump house, right? Yeah, so there's, we get a lot of questions about what's on, what's these side doors over here. They're not bathrooms. They're not bathrooms, uh, no. They're, they're storage right now. We've got the oh, skating assistants in there uh, when the fountains are running. Um, fire code determined that we had to have separate containers for uh, the chemicals chemicals maintain chemical storage the, um, the fountain so that Perfect. Guy, it's just chemical storage all right chemical storage let's take a quick look at the uh, the new and improved nativity set hey who do we have to thank for this right yeah, uh, Tony and Ellen down at the mercantile uh, said they wanted to help out and do something for us and, uh, Folks, if you've been up on the square the last few years and seen the uh, nativity set, while it was nice, it it needed a little help, right? A little love, yeah. So I'm going to tell you what this is. It's impressive from the road, but it's even more impressive when you get right up here on it. It's uh, what a great job, what a great great job. So you know, glad to have this here, and thank you again, Southern Illinois Mercantile, for uh, for doing such a fantastic job on that. And yes, I did get a question. What happened to Mayor Butler's statue? Not a thing. It, yeah. it stayed right where, it, right where it was. Uh, that was the intent all along, and there he stands, proud and tall, right there as you as and, you enter Tower Square. And we'll continue to do. That. That's correct. Tornado Memorial still here. Yes, it hasn't yep. moved at all. Yeah. So again, a couple other memorials that uh, we haven't placed yet. We're working on it. Uh, General John A. Logan, uh, we think, stood right in this general area uh, and gave a speech. Uh, back in Civil War times, and so uh, that monument was up here. Uh, we're going to replace it uh, somewhere in this general area uh, to commemorate where, where he spoke. Uh, he actually had an office right down uh, Print Alley there. Yeah, nice. So, yeah. Uh, kind of a neat story there. We've got a couple other monuments to place back up here, and uh, it's it's almost finished. Almost. And then we have talked about the uh, all the new concrete up here, yep. right? Yep. Uh, it is right now concrete gray right. we're debating on what what we may do with that as we go forward we right we might stain it next spring uh, whether it won't allow us to do anything before then so uh, we might stain it uh, give it give it a little bit of color uh, but to be determined right all right perfect well let's take a peek at the ice rink okay. shall we what do you think 
And and yes, for those that that have asked, um, if you were up here, let's see, what was that 2019 probably when we had that? Uh, yeah, 2019. We rented the rink. It went right over uh, in front of uh, Tower Square Pizza in that corner. And uh, my understanding, it was not this big. No, it was not. It's not this big. So, folks, this is real ice. Let me turn this around on you. It's about four to five inches of, of real ice. It is real ice. A couple leaves on it, but that's okay. We'll get those swept up with the Zamboni yep. later. But uh, the guys, Josh and his crew and place, have been out here. If you've been by here from <laughs> 8 to midnight most nights, you'll see a couple guys spraying a hose. That's how this all went down. So um, it's, uh, it's a good size. It's about 30-some feet by 60-some feet. Yep. So uh, again, it, uh, we're going to try it with the 50, see how that works. And uh, Dial it back if, we have if it's too crowded, we'll bring it back a little bit. But we, you know, again, we're going on the uh, recommendations of the folks that we bought it from. And uh, so that is uh, tonight, starting at 5 o'clock. There's the... Uh, refrigeration freezing part of this thing so that's what uh, actually you'll see the lines there with all the the uh, cold water that go underneath here and freezing stuff so in all these lines there's lines that go all the way across there uh, they run under the entire length of the ice rink uh, there's antifreeze in them and they maintain the temperature of about 13 or 14 degrees wow regardless of the outside temperature wow pretty cool so yeah somebody asked uh, well, what happens when it gets above freezing? Well, not a thing. Not a thing. Uh, our, our notice is that we can skate on this thing in the 50s, even 60s, right. as long as Mr. Sun is not shining directly on it. Right. So if you think about most evenings after, especially now, after 5 o'clock, so let's just say next week we get a good 65 degree weather, well, I'm going to come out here and skate in shorts because this thing's going to stay frozen. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you may have to wait. I'll, I'll do it. I'll put my shorts on and skate when the mayor does it. We'll, we'll skate at the same time. So, again, there's all the uh, places you see to put your skates on and uh, do all that change there. So, um, don't forget, too, we have the uh, Very Merry Christmas Parade, which is this Sunday at 530. Uh, it starts at the Marion Junior High School, and we'll come down... Uh, Main Street and go all the way out to Washington School. So uh, lots of places to take a seat on that. It's the inaugural one. Um, last I saw we had 61 entries. So it's a great size parade. Lot, I've seen a few of the uh, people working on their floats on Facebook and it's it's fantastic. So come on, enjoy it. There's going to be food trucks out on the route and, and work your way up here to Tower Square uh, when the parade's over. Enjoy the ice skating and all the stuff that's going to go on and then Next week, right after that, we'll have carriage rides. First week of right, December. Right, and a market down at the uh, yes. First Christian Church. Yeah, you saw my post a couple weeks ago of what, what that's going to look like in a couple of years. You know, it may not be quite that big this year, but uh, we're getting there. You know, we've got ten to, nuts. Ten nuts. We're we starting have, with ten. We have ten. And these are design, right? Help me with this. Street Department made some of these? Uh, no, uh, we actually had a private individual Private. these for us. Okay. Uh, wanted to... Uh, Wanted to see it happen. Wanted to see it work. Perfect. So thankful for that donation of, the, of those huts this year. Uh, and it's, again, a space where uh, local merchants can uh, sell their stuff. Uh, a place that they can come and yeah. hopefully attract uh, a lot of you out to, to see what they have to offer. Yeah, so if you've ever been to, like, the Chris Kindle Market in Chicago or some of the bigger cities, you'll notice that it's not just a bunch of little pop-up white tents everywhere. These folks go all out and create... Uh, wooden structures most of the time with doors and all that kind of stuff that makes it feel like a, a, an indoor market outdoors so it's really cool so happy to have that as an addition also this year to what we're doing so uh, anything else that I forgot sir? I don't think so alright well folks again uh, the music's playing decorations are up if you've been around the square at night you'll notice that all the buildings this year are lined with lights all the way around the square so that's a cool thing and uh, so, come on up tonight, 5 o'clock. Uh, the Ice at Tower Square has its inaugural group of skaters tonight. And uh, for those of you coming here at 5, don't forget your waiver. Have that done ahead of time. It's very simple and easy online. So, that's all for today. We'll take care. Bye-bye.